We're learning to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this machine. Always read the operator's manual. Make certain you are properly trained and wear the appropriate PPE. Inspect the vehicle hoist for any damage. Make certain the work area is free of oil spills, debris, and equipment in the work bay area. Review the manual for the specific hoist in your shop. Be familiar with all the controls on it. Ensure it has a regular hoist inspection schedule. Test operate it frequently and ensure that it sounds right and doesn't make any unusual noises or have any apparent leaks. Visually inspect its parts regularly. If there are any questions or concerns, communicate with your teacher and determine if a tagout is necessary. Always handle the arms from underneath. Never put your hands on top. Don't step or climb on the hoist arms while in the shop. When you are preparing to lift a vehicle, check the gross vehicle weight rating, or GVWR of the vehicle. The weight of the vehicle being lifted must not exceed the hoist manufacturer's lifting capacity. Look inside the vehicle for any unexpected loads. Your teacher is watching very carefully when they are moving the vehicle into the bay. Only the shop teacher is allowed to drive vehicles in and out of the bay. Locate the lift points on the vehicle using the lift guide or a vehicle manufacturer's specs. Always perform an underbody inspection before attempting to raise a vehicle. Use a light and ask your teacher about anything that looks not right or if you're not sure if it's safe to lift. Always have your teacher check your setup before lifting the vehicle. Next, raise the arms of the hoist until all four pads are making contact with the vehicle. Never put your hands on top of the arms of the hoist. Now, raise the vehicle until all four wheels are one foot off the ground. Next, perform the bounce test with teacher approval. If the vehicle is stable, raise the vehicle to a comfortable working height. Always be aware and constantly surveying the vehicle being raised. Once the vehicle is at the desired work height, slowly lower the vehicle onto the hoist safety locks. Make sure everyone in the shop knows you'll be actively working underneath. If your work includes any heavy lifting, prying, pulling, or removing any large components, you must use four appropriately rated safety stands. Always use caution while working under the vehicle, as you may injure your head or hands. Wear your safety glasses and watch for slipping hazards or toxic fluid spills. Before lowering the vehicle, be sure all safety stands, tools and equipment, airlines and debris have been removed. Clean up any oil spills. It's a good practice to announce you are lowering the vehicle to alert others working in the area. First, raise the vehicle up slightly to allow for the locks to be disengaged. Now, slowly lower the vehicle to the ground, watching the area for anyone coming into the path of the vehicle being lowered. With the vehicle completely lowered to the ground, Return the hoist arms to the home position before moving the vehicle out of the bay area. Let's look at our tool safe review. There are different safety mechanisms in place for all hoists. Wear all recommended PPE. Review the manual and be familiar with the general operation. They must be inspected and tested regularly. Always communicate well in the shop. Plan the tools and any support stands you may need for heavy work. Document work that is in progress or completed underneath. Know and follow your teacher's specific rules around hoist operation in the shop. Clear all stands, tools, and clean up your area prior to lowering. Be sure to know tack-out procedures if you are questioning the hoist safe operation. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And always remember to be tool safe.